check out this time lapse from Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly. This evening's storms moved in and out pretty quickly, but did leave behind some damage. Andrew is back now with more on that in our next weather forecast. I love the the, the skies open up. Yeah, I'm going to post that on my Instagram because yeah. uh, uh, and tag Bill, of course, because it was his video. Uh, but it went from just ominous clouds, almost right. like Independence Day, and then all of a sudden the sun blew. came right out. Beautiful at the end, and that's sort of a sign of a nice segue into. The next couple of days. Second half of the weekend, so much nicer than the first as we walk over to the wall, show you exactly what we're tracking and what's going on. A much better Sunday. Now, we could see an early shower on Monday. There's a weak system moving through, but most of us will remain dry. We're talking a few extra clouds Monday morning, maybe a sprinkle, a light shower, that's it. Either way, a big stretch of sunshine coming your way, and temperatures are going to stay in this range between 80 and 84. Into the week ahead. Here's the radar right now, not showing really anything out there, but we did have a couple of damage reports, of course, especially across central New Jersey and even Delaware County. We had some uh, really big trees down and some power lines down, some power outages. Things are so much better tonight. With temperatures in the mid 70s, it's still a little bit on the steamy side, but it is really starting to cool off and dry out. 62 degrees up in Mount Pocono, Redding 74, 76 Millville, Wildwood coming in at 75 degrees this evening. Here's a look at the next 12 hours. Back down into the 60s by 6 a.m. It's going to look better. It's going to feel better. And those dew points, they're going to be quite far away from the actual high temperature. So that means that when we have a little bit of a space between the dew point and the temperature, that means lower humidity. It's going to feel a lot better. Take a look at the wind gusts today. These are outside of the thunderstorms, 25 to up to 45 miles per hour. We had a gust in Philadelphia as that line of storms came through, about 43 miles per hour. Now, it wasn't just the gusty winds from the storms that led to those trees down, by the way. It was the fact that we've had so much rain lately and storms that the soils were pretty loose. So it really didn't take that much. Sunny skies as we wake up in the morning. It's not hot tomorrow. It's just nice and warm. And we continue that all the way through the afternoon. By 5 o'clock, just a few high clouds and mostly sunny skies. And then we begin a new week. Monday, we've talked about just a few sprinkles, maybe a shower. That's it. Very brief, mainly south of Philadelphia. The week ahead is looking really nice. So the storms are continuing to move out. Anything that's left over by the Jersey Shore sprinkle, that's it. 83 degrees tomorrow. A morning shower Monday, then mostly sunny in 83. Tuesday, beautiful 82. I don't know which pick of the week day I'm going to pick because it's just gorgeous. Both Wednesday as well. And then we get into your Thursday, your Friday, and your Saturday. And we turn the heat up just a little bit for the end of the week. We may have a sprinkle late Thursday, may have a shower or rumble on Friday, and Saturday, next Saturday, mainly dry, but there's a little bit more humidity. Either way, we're back to where we should be, even slightly below, and most importantly, quiet and comfortable.